We've seen a lot of figures over the lifespan of the Star Wars The Black Series action figure line. But lately, Hasbro seems to be struggling. Figures keep hitting clearance, definitely not because of the crazy price hikes, and the collector community is up in arms. So to help out my friends at my favorite multinational billion dollar corporation, I've put together the definitive list of 10 figures that the Black Series should make if they want to turn things around. Number 1. Kyle Katarn Jedi Outcast is one of the greatest Star Wars games of all time, and Kyle Katarn is one of the best characters. The OG Death Star plan stealer, knower of the location of the Valley of the Jedi, and finder of the garbages, he needs to be memorialized in plastic form. I've never really played Dark Forces, so I would prefer his Jedi Knight look. He kind of looks like Chris Cooper here. And if you're making Kyle, you could make Jan Ors, Jarek, Dasan, Tavion, and a Reborn. The Reborn alone gives you some easy repaint options. And they could reuse the Briar Blaster from the Andor figure as well. Another idea for some easy reuse is to sell separate versions for each lightsaber stance from the game. Would they be different in any way? No, but when has that stopped them before? Number 2. HK-47 If you're like me, when you think of Knights of the Old Republic, you immediately think of HK-47. Evil C-3PO is an idea Star Wars writers have done a time or two, but no one comes close to the OG murder droid. Request. Please do not speak so loudly, prospective buyer. Do you truly wish my price to be doubled? Even 20 plus years later, he's a funnier character than we've had in any of the other movies or games since. Playing the game, you just can't help but fall in love with him. Definition. Love is making a shot to the knees of a target 120 kilometers away using an Aerotech sniper rifle with a tri-light scope. And design-wise, he would cut a mean silhouette on the shelf next to Revan and Friends. Come on, you're just teasing us by making that HK-87 figure. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. Number 3. Dexter Jetster Well, what do you know? Dexter Jetster is one of the most influential characters in the Star Wars universe. If he didn't identify the Kamino and Dart, Obi-Wan wouldn't have been able to track Jango Fett and then follow him to Geonosis and get captured and then get put in a gladiator arena and have Yoda and an army of clone troopers show up at a dramatic moment and start the Clone Wars. And more importantly, he would fill the small business owner shaped hole that the Black Series line has had for far too long. How many other characters can serve up a space burger with the side of secrets? So thanks, Dexter. Thank you for being part of the backbone of the Coruscant Chamber of Commerce, and I look forward to seeing you at the next Obi-Wanus meeting. Number 4. Command Posts from Battlefront 1 and 2 What have all these Star Wars been fought over? Command Posts. The lifeblood of the galaxy far, far away needs to be represented in the line. You could have the Republican Confederacy symbols and the Empire and Rebels, and I guess you could have the Resistance and First Order ones too for the sickos out there. And there could be green, white, red, and blue variants of each of the faction symbols to signify whether we have captured a command post or if the enemy has taken one of our command posts. Another command post for the Republic. They're losing reinforcements. Keep it up. Number 5. Super Battle Droid. How have they still not made this? It's one of the main bad guy troops for two of the mainline movies, and we still haven't gotten it as a figure. Did they forget? We've been watching out for those wrist rockets all this time, and they don't even have the decency to give them to us. If and when they do make it, they could have a repaint with some slight resculpt and do the scary versions from Republic Commando. And then you would have the entire line of weird offshoot SPDs that both the Tartakovsky and Filoni Clone Wars cartoons added, like this grapple guy or the ones with the jetpacks. Just make sure that they can hit a running pose so we can recreate the best episode of The Mandalorian. Number 6. Gonk Droid. Gonk. Number 7. Luke Skywalker Lord knows we need more Luke variants. This one would be relatively easy reuse for an existing head sculpt. Just use all of the rejected ones from the factory for extra effect. On top of that, you could also reuse his original blue youngling slayer lightsaber, since that's what Luke had. Is that how you say it? Luke? 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 I don't know. It would pair well with the Mara Jade they made a while ago. And you could make Joris Sabath and other Thrawn trilogy characters like Talon Card if they want to continue down this line. They're setting Thrawn to be the big bad guy for the Disney Plus shows. So now would be the time to put out a bunch of stuff based on the Thrawn books if they wanted to capitalize on that. There's a live action version of Pelion now, so there's that too. Maybe Luke being in the mix would be how they could explain the change in Luke's character in the sequel trilogy era. Wouldn't that be funny? Number 8. 
Ben Quadraneros. You know him, you love him. It's time to make the Ben Quadraneros figure we've been demanding since this line was created. I really don't know how you can call this a Star Wars collector's line without the Quad Man and the rest of the Pod Squad. You could also add in some Bulba, I guess, and yeah, I guess you could throw in the young Anakin for the couple of people that would want that. But the real star of the show is Benny Boy and his iconic pod racer. The tragedy, the triumph, the trysts? All of them are exemplified by Ben Quadraneros, and we need him in the Black Series. Number nine, the Rancor. A terrifying and mesmerizing creature, the Rancor is an unforgettable part of the Star Wars galaxy. How could it not be? A ferocious and formidable opponent whose commanding size and brute force strength is enough to rattle even the most powerful Jedi, TM. I would love to have a Rancor about this much. To sweeten the pot, you could add the Rancor trainer guy and oh, Ula the Dancer too. Maybe throw in a couple of bones or something as a freebie. You know, as long as the price is right, it seems like a surefire hit to me. Number 10, Republic Gunship. I will take out a loan and add an addition to my house for this. Ever since I first saw these in the good part of Attack of the Clones, I have been obsessed with the Republic Gunship. They are just so cool. Being able to just cruise around with the boys, flying around, hoping that your ship has a main character in it so it doesn't get shot down. And considering how much they are talked about in the fandom, I know I'm not alone. Add a clone pilot, maybe the little bubble laser turrets on the sides, and a few other clones to ride in the back, and baby, you've got a stew. This is the perfect definitive list that will definitely save the Black Series line. But what other figures would you add to this list? Let me know in the comments. And hit subscribe, or you legally have to pledge money to the Reva's lightsaber Haslab. 